But that wasn't the only place Earth Day was celebrated in our area. Rockridge High School welcomed about 500 elementary students from their FFA Ag Day event. The kids were given classroom lessons, farm equipment demonstrations, and even a petting zoo all run by the high school's FFA students. But one station in particular was all about turning farming upside down, or rather, up and down. Tonight, Shelby Kluver takes us out to Taylor Ridge, where one student is growing vegetables without any soil. It's new tonight on News 8 at 6. You guys roll second grade? When it comes to growing plants. Do any of you guys have gardens at home? There's a few golden rules we might expect. So what do those plants need? Water. Water. Sun. Sun. Soil. But this farm is turning all of that upside down. But my plants are growing on top of each other, aren't they? Meet Charlie Edwards and her hydroponic farm. Water. Hydro means water. So then we have hydro and then we have ponic. Ponic means to work. And this farm is certainly working. Over the past year, the Rockridge Junior has grown produce like lettuce, cucumbers, peas, and more. Expected results. There's a lot more variables I can control here. From a rather unexpected method. Do we see any soil? That's right. It's without soil, no soil. Hydroponic, it's just water working. Forget everything you thought you knew about growing vegetables. From the soil. This right here, this is my light. To the sunlight. And if you were expecting rainwater to grow these plants. If you guys want to peek in there. Try taking a closer look. That's my water pump. That water, it comes right up through this main valve right here, and then it will split off. All of that is going to continue to just go right down this root chamber here, and where it'll end up coming right back to my tank and starting all over. So it's constantly recycling itself. When we're looking at uh, water and land usage, the Flex Farm is able to save around 98% on both of those fronts. Nine square feet of traditional farming can grow about four heads of lettuce. Questions? That same space in a hydroponic farm can grow 144 heads of lettuce, uh, which can equate to around 25 to 30 pounds every single month. We're gonna try some lettuce. For these visiting elementary kids, it's a taste. I washed it, I promise. Of the future of farming. Here, put your hands out. Boop. There you go. Although even these vegetables are still yes. vegetables. You can throw it away if you want. I mean, clearly she's very passionate about this. Charlie's ag teacher, Kirsten Capron. Currently she's taking lettuce to the lunchroom, um, and I know the, the lunchroom really enjoys having that. It's been a successful year for Charlie's farm, especially since she didn't grow up on one herself. Nope, not at all. But it turns out. <laughs> not at all. Turning things upside down may be farming's newest golden rule. In Taylor Ridge, Shelby Kluver, WQAD News 8. And Charlie has already delivered one harvest of lettuce to her school's lunchroom. When she continues the hydroponic farm next year, she hopes to up that count to at least five harvests.